All right, hey guys, Sonda here, bringing you another uh, game from Noni's replay packet here. So this is actually a PVT played on Blue Storm, and this is for the MST. Um, if you want to leave that in the comments explaining what the MST is, if you know that, uh, I'm not exactly sure. This is uh, fairly recent, a couple months ago, I believe. I got it off Gosu Gamers replays, um, just so you know that. But yeah, this is PVT played on Blue Storm. I think this is the older version of Blue Storm. But yeah, Noni's um, PVZ is actually probably his best matchup today, but I'm interested. In see uh, how both players choose it today one thing to note is um what i'm expecting the terran to do terran to do basically is to siege up outside the middle and blow away at um noni's natural nexus that is something noni's obviously a good enough player to know and uh definitely going to be one of his concerns how he's going to defend it how he's going to do with it you can't defend it with a shuttle and the appropriate micro and um or if he even or if he might just uh slap the macro game in the face and try to do something else here but uh noni's a very uh, macro player game or macro player i feel but yeah a couple shout outs before this goes too far um to go along with the noni theme i'd like you offer to go to sc for all.com uh, i'm trying to think what it was it was a from a couple days ago, I saw it. An interview with um, the Eastro B team, actually. And it based, they asked a lot of questions about Noni and how he thinks. And, I mean, a lot of the things was Noni's definitely not a pro gamer yet. And, I mean, doesn't have, I, I mean, I don't mean it like that. But, I mean, like, not quite up there. I mean, still has a lot, a lot of work to do. But he has, has a lot of potential was the big thing. And doing a nice job here. Taurus is the Terran player here. Doing a really nice job of scouting the um, possible proxy over here. That is a possibility. I've won a couple games like that. Actually, won a couple games on iCup like that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, they weren't great players, obviously. So here we go. Scouting probe coming in for Noni. I'm pretty excited about this game. This is for the MST, though. I'd like to know what it is, um, when it took place. I'm trying to learn, trying to become more familiar in the foreign, um, scene. And that's why, part of the reason why I'm doing this, um, Noni replay packet. But, uh, yeah, MST, is it the Midwest StarCraft tournament? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, I'm not exactly sure. Cybernex core going up here. So we are going to see some kind of one gate into tech. We could see a second gateway going down fairly soon. It's just going to play a pretty standard opening here. And a pretty standard play here for, um, for torso as well. Um, so not too much going on right now. But yeah, sc2gg.com. Check it out. It is really, really sick what they are doing. The, um, the SC2GG commentator idol is a big hit, a big success. I've actually been watching all of them. Still have to watch the uh, most recent one, the second part of it. I actually went out to dinner and I got back and now I'm doing this, but I might watch that after. But anyway, Cybernetics Core now warping it. But yeah, check it out. It is so sick. Like, Caller is hosting it and then they have uh, Peanut and Rise um, as the judges. And then Diggity is actually the guy. Uh, the surprise judge, I think it is. Um, but yeah, there's some definitely some talent coming up. Let them know what you think, guys. And it's pretty awesome that they're giving them the opportunity. I mean, it's really awesome, actually. We are seeing range upgrade here, so we might see Noni try to put on some early pressure. That is a possibility. We do see the range going down, so that limits the chance of DTs happening or etc. etc. Yeah, Noni doing a nice job of scouting, really knowing exactly where his opponent's doing, but pretty standard play. We are going to see. Uh, the factory being started here we are seeing one so we are going to see some kind of one fact into expo here from the turn up when he does have a couple marines out that'll stop any um any other scouts from getting in noni would be pretty ballsy there to try to move in and get another scout and we do see this goon coming out here so yeah this scouting scv doing a nice job by torso he's gonna have to flee the scene here gonna have to run away uh skill level wise i'm not exactly sure um noni's obviously got better he has been playing in korea competitively for the last couple months now so i mean i'm sure his skill we haven't seen too much of him recently obviously his um second place in the courage tournament or courage event that was just incredible the best of foreigners ever done especially in the first try so these marines are going to come back and scare off this probe noni being um going to stick a scouting pile on here and um just to know when is um when is terran's expanding etc and uh it's dragoon coming out here so he's gonna a couple dragons coming out here so he's gonna play up might put a little pressure on here he does have four marines dragoons are strong against four marines but with the appropriate micro um this should be a win for um for torso here noni realizing it's four marines he's going to push back up use the height advantage but probably back off completely at least until that second goon is out we are seeing the command center go up for torso um right now no sign of the second gateway or anything here so noni might actually get a few game goons out he might um I'm, maybe he's going to go for the faster expand i'm not exactly sure uh robotics facility is obviously a useful unit or useful building here that i expect noni to throw up pretty soon is that what he's doing with this no all right, or that probe's just sitting there, of course. I should have known. Um, scouting SCV, another scouting SCV coming out here. Noni actually, all just dragoons outside his base. Uh, this zealot's going to actually come down the middle. Is it going to clog up the middle? And Noni's going to be a 
genius if he clogs up the middle, but he's not going to. He's actually going to move that Zealot out. And the Scouting SCV actually could get in here, but it's still not going to see too much. And no, still no sign of exactly what his opponent's doing. And this, oh, wow, I completely missed it. No wonder he's putting up the pylon. Oh, wow, we are seeing three gate goons. I should have realized this. I'm sorry. I thought it was, I, I was going to say that pylon probably can't see that expansion. Um, Stupid Sunday ruins another commentary, but no, two gateways coming up, so he's going to trick his opponent, and he's going to go three gate goons while taking expansion of his own, so he's going to have a lot of goons out very early. Scouting SCV in the base, he's going to be, he's going to realize something is up, though. I mean, his opponent's expansion is just going up, and he only has one gateway that, uh, that SCV did it see, only the one gateway here, and no need, I mean, Torso not, um, I'm, I'm not too sure how prepared he's going to be for this the engineering bay is up uh but a couple not enough tanks out yet there are a couple tanks here he's going to try to siege up here missile turret going up no sign of a shuttle nothing just mass goons and zealots here for um for the moment he's going to actually a couple zealots out here so he's going to try to come from two angles this is very very aggressive play from noni if noni doesn't win this he's going to lose the game i mean he has taken this expansion, but he is expanding behind his turn opponent. I think he's a while away from picking up that third expansion, so he's really committed to winning the game early, and I'm not sure if this is... I don't know. I mean, I've seen his macro game. He is actually going to push in here. He decides the time. A lot of tanks out, but not... I don't know. A beautiful micro here by Noni coming in, picking off. Tank's going to surround a couple here. That one in siege mode is going to fall. He's going to have to pull some SCVs off the line. Torso could be in a lot of trouble. The last tank is about to fall. He is in a lot of trouble. We're going to see Noni's goon micro. He's just got to stay... Try not to get surrounded. Surrounded by the STVs, try to keep those goons alive as long as possible while he just keeps pumping goons here. Nice micro so far, and that is a lot of STVs. Nice attempt at a surround. He's going to get him cornered. These four goons could go down fairly quickly without the appropriate micro. Noni doing a nice job so far, keeping all four goons alive still here. But yeah, I, this is really going to catch his opponent off guard. You do see often hidden factories on this. But yeah, Noni's not even worrying about microing the goons that much. I mean, he knows that he is going to win the game here. Nothing his opponent's going to do. So, oh, wow devastating uh, uh, tank coming out now should be able to clean things up fairly soon but I don't know it's gonna be enough more goons on the way and torso is in a lot a lot of trouble here and I expect pretty soon the next push from um Noni uh, could be GG here Noni um not a lot of not tons of goons though he's doing a lot of harassment at this natural but torso is in a devastating horrible situation here uh surrounding that one goon not even be able to pick off that one goon no one does i mean torso does have an extra tank out here so torso if he's smart with it he should be able to pick off a couple goons but no another second tank coming out so no one, torso after all is going to hold this off here these two gateways are still um no they're yeah some of them are pumping. Um, a couple, another gateway going up here. Noni's just consi consistently sticking with this. All right, now he has the shuttle out with the support base, so we are going to see some reaver harassment. I feel this is a beautiful idea since he did pick off the missile turret here. He could go for the main base even. Um, yeah, and this is going to be very, very hard. A couple extra SCVs sitting up on the top, and he needs those. He needs all the SCVs mining. As you can see, uh, Torso's economy is, oh my gosh, it's ugly to look at. <laughs> Horrible. Just not enough SCVs. It's like seven or eight SCVs at each patch here. Noni's probably going to take a third expansion. He basically can do anything he wants right now. I thought we actually could see GG right there, but Torso's going to fight back here, and definitely this is Noni's game to win. If he doesn't win this, I don't know. This would be devastating. Putting up a couple mines here. Um, Noni better be getting the observatory up. No sign of the observatory quite yet. Vulture could be quite strong until Noni gets the observatory. Oh, the observatory is up, so forget what I said. Here we go. Citadel coming up here. Noni's just going to come up here. Um with the oh pylon going up here never mind i thought that was the shuttle uh yeah there's the shuttle with the reaver he's going to try to do some more harassment if he went to the main base he could do a lot of damage i feel there is one missile turret uh, if he could dodge that correctly but he doesn't know it's there he has i don't know if i'm um, noni i think noni's idea was that he could pick down all the missile turrets but norso 